Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to our My Player Career Mode. Thank you, as always, for all of your incredible support. I hope I find you all doing very well and having an awesome day. If you missed the previous episode, go back, check it out. We made our Champions League debut for Milan and we had two crucial games with England in the hopes of securing European Championship football in 2028. Today's episode will see us take on Palmer first at the San Siro before we welcome Torino to the San Siro. And then we have Udinese away as we then travel to Turkey to take on Galatasaray, who actually won their opening Champions League fixture against Sevilla. So our group itself, we've got Galatasaray, Sevilla and Bayern. We played Bayern last episode, quiet game, managing to get the result though, a goal to nil. We scored the only goal of that game, so... I'm very confident about our chances in the Champions League group stage. It's all about the knockout rounds. We'll have to see how we get on there. For now, though, 500 likes on this episode would be incredible. Sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video, my friends. Here is the team the boss has named for the visit of Palmer. While he got his first two goals of the season last episode, and we are hoping that will be a catalyst to help him go on and have an outstanding season in front of goal. Right now, we are actually the top scorer with six goals in four Serie A matches. Bernardo to Wahi as Fresneda is joining the attack from fullback. Inside for Bernardo, straight to Liao. It's as easy as that for Milan to carve a chance. But Liao, who you'd expect to score from that position, hasn't done so. And that is a big chance wasted for AC Milan. We speak about them so often being so good in and around the penalty area, crafting these moments, crafting these chances. There's Teo Hernandez with an acrobatic effort, which is tipped away. And it's still not dealt with yet by Palmer. Yeah, we speak about Milan and how good they are in these areas at creating those chances. But normally we see them finish them. Here's Wahi. Liao once more. It's Liao. It's Turk again. We have played eight minutes of football and already three saves for the Palmer goalkeeper. Is this going to be one of those days for Milan where they try their best but just cannot find a way through? You'd expect not considering we've had those chances so early. As we now get towards the byline, chance to put a cross in. It's just lifted into an area. Nobody's there, though. Castro away, straight to Ruben Diaz. Now Liao on the turn for a third time in the game. Blocked. Now a chance for Palmer to play forward with McDonald. He's got the pass inside for Mann, whose efforts were straight at Mike Minion. McDonald, Castro, we're trying to get back to make the challenge. Castro finds McDonald again, though. Ten minutes to go until half time. You're wondering how AC Milan are not leading in the game. We've certainly had the chances, just haven't taken them. And here is Liao now for us. Goes inside towards myself. Bernardo is down the right-hand side. Could this be the breakthrough? Bernardo back towards myself. Wait for the run, and I can't get the pass right. As I searched for the through ball for Wahi. Palmer will be happy at half-time to see this game 0-0, all things considered. I'm sure before kickoff they would have gladly accepted a 0-0 draw. Milan, on the other hand, will be incredibly annoyed they haven't scored. Liao, Benton Kerr, could this be the moment? Ben Asir finds me. Now Bernardo. Bernardo back inside. Chance on the left side. Blocked corner ball. Single minute of added time here in the first half. It is a short corner which Milan play. Bernardo found by me. Finds my feet. Trying to lift it in. It falls kindly for Wahi, who got too much on it. And the ball sails over the crossbar. At half-time, it is Milan nil, Palmer nil. And the way this game is going, it's set to be Milan frustration. We've had so many chances, haven't yet scored. Here is Liao. There's a chance here on the counter, maybe, because Palmer had a free kick, sent players forward from said free kick, and that allowed us to get it back. As we turn inside onto that left side of ours, which we like. And it's a decent save by Turk. It's another chance that goes begging for AC Milan as I tried to slide in. Expecting the pass, and actually, Palmer have played themselves into danger with Liao taking over towards the byline, and somehow this has resulted in a Palmer goal kick. Oh my, 56 minutes gone, and Milan just cannot seem to find what they need to find a goal. Space on the left-hand side for Hernandez. Here he is then, Teo Hernandez. We need a bit of inspiration here to find a goal. There's Liao near post. Turk with another save, and yet again... Ruben Diaz, as we turn, play it to Fresneda. Time is ticking away, and we are still searching for this goal. Fresneda, he's got Bernardo with him. It's still Fresneda. He's fine, Bernardo now, who gets inside, finds Wahi. Wahi goes for the strike. The angle was always against him. 
And that is another save to add to his impressive day for Turk. The collection of saves that he's got. A few of them have been routine. But a couple of the recent ones have been so much better. Liao near post header. My effort as well, which was going bottom corner. So you do have to give him plaudits. It's not as if Milan have just lacked the finishing today. There have been a couple of really good chances for us, which he has saved quite well. On the flip side, we've seen one shot for Palmer. He'll be counting their blessings at the score being nil-nil. This will be incredibly frustrating if they now go and score Palmer. They are forward here. It's Man inside. It's Alacon. I'm trying not to do anything silly. We blocked the cross into the box. Ruben Diaz heads his first header away, but that is full time at the San Siro. Milan nil, Palmer nil. The score. Quite incredible that we've drawn that with the chances we had. 11 shots in total for AC Milan, but couldn't find a way through to the two shots of Palmer. In fact, how many saves did their goalkeeper actually make? We do pick up Man of the Match with an 8.7 match rating, which I feel is a little bit inflated. Let's have a look, though. Turk with an 8 match rating, so it shows you how good he was today. Eight saves he made from this one, so fair play to him. But Milan, that doesn't help the frustration whatsoever. First points dropped this season. And that result has meant, actually, we've dropped out of top spot. Sassuolo winning five out of five means they take top with 15 points out of 15. But we know league seasons, they're a marathon, not a sprint. So no worries. Just as long as we can get back to winning ways here against Torino. Wondering if that first result of the episode has affected us slightly because... We're not being as good as we have been recently as Liao gets our first chance. Benitez away. Wahi with a follow-up header. And two chances later, Benitez makes a double save. Finally, we see something from Milan. But once more, we can't apply the finish. Injury for Torino does mean, unfortunately, they have to make a substitution. And why on earth have they been given the ball back when we had it? Well, I say that. It's a massive mistake made, but then we can't punish them for it. What's going on with us at the moment? We have to be punishing mistakes like that. Bernardo, Benton Kerr. Bernardo's almost popping up now, as I said. Central midfielder. Here's Wahi! Yes! Finally, the breakthrough. We've had something crazy like 15, 16 shots, if you include the last game as well. And we hadn't hit the target yet, which is so unlike us. But finally, we do. It's Wahi with the breakthrough. And as we see this finish again, he goes near post. And Benitez, unfortunately for Torino, just can't quite make the save. Here is Fresneda. Down the line for Silva. Silva finds Benton Kerr. Benton Kerr now. Fresneda. Edge of the penalty area we are. Trying to place it. And it's gone in the back of the net. I'm not sure if it's in the corner, but I don't care because Milan have breathing space. Torino back offers. They have played quite a deep defensive line. There has been a couple of moments where I've thought about pulling the trigger with the shot, but... I've then tried to pass it this time, though. We do go for goal. And actually, it's nowhere near the top corner. It's a central position. And Benitez should do better. Wahi, now Liao. It's Milan. Looking dangerous once more. It's Wahi. Edge of the penalty area. Finds Liao. Can Liao shoot? He lays it off for Benton Kerr. It's a third. Just like that. Normality restored for AC Milan. You could say we were wasteful in game one. You could say it was a fantastic goalkeeping display from Palmer's goalkeeper, Turk. But in this game, there is no such thing as wasteful Milan. 3-0. In the end, it's looking like a very good result for us as we will return to winning ways in this one with Torino trying one last attack. We've won it back and can play it forwards. And any moment now, that should be that from the game. It is indeed 3-0 the full-time score here at the San Siro. Now off to take on Udinese. I have just gone ahead and allocated the four skill points we got for reaching level 48. And it's taken us to 89 overall. Away to Udinese. And the expectation is that this should be a routine three points for us. They currently have lost all but one game in their opening six fixtures. Edge of the penalty area is Wallace. Oh! I'm not sure how many chances Udinese will get in this one. But that was a great opportunity for them to test Mainyan. Narrowly wide at that bottom corner. Bit of a warning sign from AC Milan. Came largely from nothing as well. Just giving away the ball too easily. And then a counter happened. And next thing you know, shots in by Wallace. So going to have to be a lot better in that. That's a poor first touch from me as I tried to charge into the space. Try and redeem us by winning it back to no avail. As Benesser charges this ball down. 
He's won it back. Benesser. Oh, it's the final pass. But why? He's done enough to find Liao. I've got no idea how on earth Milano leading. It was a catalogue of catastrophic errors. Really from both sides, you could say. But the biggest one coming from Udinese is why he wins it back. Liao profits and finishes. And somehow we're one the up. We'll take it. Bernardo into my feet. Fresneda is still on the right-hand side. Here he is then, as he'll find the ball back for Bernardo. That's brilliant from Bernardo Silva. Allows us to drive inside and look for the shots, which I thought for sure was going to be 2-0 Milan. And it's not. Short corner. Or do we send it into the box and see what we can do? Opted for the latter. Near post is Liao. Wasn't the intended ball into the box, but it nearly worked out. Liao hooks the ball goalwards into the side netting. Shows his ball. Does find me. Wahi gives us the run that opens up the space for Bernardo. And Wahi gets it from him. Now it's Fresneda. Fresneda to Benesser. To Liao, who spins and shoots quickly. And Okoye watched it all the way. Tips it round his post. Corner kick. We sent the last one into the box. We'll play short for this one. Bernardo has come short. He turns immediately. Now crosses in there. Schurz. There's the second for Milan. Great delivery by Bernardo. Schurz arrives. Cannot miss. Nice. There's Bezaser into Wahi. Wahi now then. Look at the space he's got. It's Wahi. It's three for Milan. It's game, set and match here. Bezaser, whose name I actually got wrong initially. Did well to find Wahi. And then after that, he does the rest. And there we have it. Udinese 0, Milan 3. So, right now, we haven't conceded a goal yet today. Let's not let it happen as we face Galatasaray next. A chance to take full control of the group as well. So, this is how it looks after the first match was played. Galatasaray, of course, beating Sevilla. We beat Bayern. So, if we beat Galatasaray here, we'd go on to six points and take sole control of first. Right now, a second on goal difference. Um, bit of training to do, and then we'll head straight into this. Looking forward to it. And in terms of our group, actually, you know, we spoke about the group itself being quite an interesting one. This isn't really a bad team in here. Galatasaray, decent. Sevilla, decent. Bayern, decent. So it's a really difficult one to call as to who will get out of this group. There is the team. The boss's name, though, as we head into this one away. Bernardo, now Wahi, Bernardo Silva, finding Benesser to Wahi, Wahi to Liao, Liao, can't hold on to the ball, first half here, it's the same story we saw against Bayern, the only difference is we've seen far more of the ball in this one than we had in that first fixture, but it's just chance creation that's eluding us right now, Galatasaray very organised defensively, making this tough to break them down. Oh, Wellington Dano's away from Fresneda a little bit here, and can he get the ball back inside? Fresneda has been able to make the challenge and Wellington Dano near the corner flag. Unfortunately for us, Fresneda has conceded the corner. We haven't seen a shot yet from Galatasaray, but this could be the first moment for them to find it. It's a poor delivery, though, by all accounts. As Hernandez gets it away and now Ross takes back over. Wahi intercepts his pass. Benesser now finds me as we've got the run of Bernardo Silva ahead of us. Here he is then. Bernardo, can he use the ball to find Wahi? Wahi through on goal! Montero saves. It's literally the second shot for us in the entire game. We can't find a clear-cut chance as I think I've given away a, uh, a handball there, which would have been a free kick, but advantage played. Fresneda now then has to win that. Has won it. Ball down the line could be on. Given away by me. I have to get it back now. Morphy. Oh, what a turn. What a turn. And Mike Minion to the rescue. Oh, and then Ruben Diaz does enough. I tell you what. That, for sure, I thought was 1-0 Galatasaray. What a turn, what a save. Remarkable moment. And here goes Liao. Has got Bernardo ahead of him. It's Rafa Liao, though, for AC Milan. Liao, can he find it inside? He can't get the ball right as I was charging through and wanted it. Can Milan do it again? Can we find a goal to win the game? Or are we going to allow Galatasaray a moment to do so? It's Hamza into the area of AC Milan. Still got it here, Hamza. And it's a great turn. It's too easy for him. He just does Bernardo with a little body feint. Turns back and fires far post. Galatasaray could be the surprise team in this group stage. They beat Sevilla. And whilst it hasn't been the most entertaining of fixtures in terms of chances in this one, they've given as good as they've got against AC Milan. I'm a little bit annoyed, really, by how we have played in both these games in the Champions League. 
I think we just need to find our feet, find our footing. But, yeah, it's just not been the usual AC Milan in either of the two games we've seen from us. Mukoko here is now on. Bernardo finds Wahi. We are ahead of him here. Wahi, find me. I'm there. Wahi now does find me as we turn. Find Benasur. Benasur, what can he do? You've got to say, they have been really good defensively, Galatasaray. So organised, not giving us even a sight. It's Mukoko who tried to find a way through. I'm now there with a challenge, and surely that goes out for a uh, throw-in. It does indeed. Five minutes to go. Can we find an equaliser? Come on. There's still time. Teo Hernandez looks like he's going for a long throw towards Wahi. It's Ross away. Second ball we need to win. We haven't done so. Moffy heads it further. Three minutes to go. Peters, Mukoko, back. Force back, because look at Galatasaray and the way they're playing here. Benasur. Benasur finding me. One more here towards Liao. Liao quick fire. One, two. Oh, I saw the pass, but got it wrong. Frustrating. Frustrating as Barris is away. What's just been given advantage here? I don't know. I was on the floor for a second. So how on earth have they got the advantage? Moffy might be in. Mining with a brilliant punch. Liao, we're running out of time. And that is it. Well, well, well. Galatasaray won. AC Milan nil. The full-time result. Said that we could take sole spots at the group stage in first. It's Galatasaray who will do that. And this, this is a wake-up call to AC Milan. Improvement needed in the Champions League. Very much the same story as the Bayern game, except that time around, we found the goal to win the game. Just two shots apiece for both sides. As Bayern have beaten Sevilla by a goal to nil, so they join us on three points. So right now, the group will be Galatasaray top on six. Us and Bayern on three. Severe bottom with zero. And that is where, my friends, we will leave today's episode. There is a Serie A table right now. Very early days, so I won't read into this too much, but not a lot of points separating Fiorentina down in fifth to us in first. We remain unbeaten in the Serie A. In fact, are we the only team to be so? Yes, we are. We're still the only team to be unbeaten in Serie A, which is good so far. Can we go for a fully unbeaten season? That would be quite the achievement. But also, Champions League, we do need to make sure we're in the knockout rounds. And there is the group as it stands. A huge thank you for watching this episode. If you did enjoy it, a like would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you are new around here, like what you see. Activate the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of the future videos on the channel. And until next time, stay safe. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Look after each other. And I'll see you all again for another video very soon. Adios.